vibration, yeah. That's the positive vibration we create, Welcome back to my channel, lovies. And for those of you that are new here, my name is Ebony Monique. In today's styling video, I'm going to be styling four dresses and one outfit from Amazon, and it's gonna be specifically for Valentine's Day. So I know you guys, if you have not already snagged your Valentine's Day outfit, you're like, oh my God, I got a couple of days, a week, probably by the time you see this video, probably a week. Like, what, what am I gonna wear? And where am I going to get it from if I don't already have it? Well, everybody knows Amazon is clutch. So that's why I chose to do Amazon because if you're last minute like me, have right now I don't have any plans for Valentine's Day because Bay is gone. But just in case me and my cousins or one of my homegirls go out, go out, I say, you know what? I need to have me something to wear. So I jumped on Amazon, saw all kinds of things, and I say, you know what? I can do a video for my lovies. I can do a video for my lovies. So let's get right to it. All of the outfits that you're going to see come from Amazon and the majority of the handbags too. But I'll give you all of the deets as I go through the video as well as link everything in the description box. All right, let's get into it. So before we really get started with the video, I wanted to go ahead and give y'all this secret now. I was going to wait till the end of the video, but I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all now. So when y'all see my body, y'all see it on the thumbnail looking all snatched and lovely. This is why. This is why. That ain't all why, because y'all 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 know I got a little shape anyway. But this just really like seals the deal and snatched me in. Guys, and guess what? This ain't cost me a whole bunch of money. This came from Amazon. So this shapewear is considered to be a mid thigh length. It has a low back insert with adjustable straps that can be removed in case you want to wear something that plunges low in the back. This also has a deep plunge in the front and it also boosts your breasts. The tummy area of this shapewear has a double layer of fabric that helps to kind of compress your belly and snatch in your waist. It also has like a thigh compression, more so to keep your mid thigh, kind of snatch your mid thigh in. You know how some of us, and I and I actually have this, even though I'm not really that big, I do like my inner thigh. It kind of got some extra loose skin right there and it kind of sometimes sag and I hate that. I'm really self-conscious about that. But it helps to compress that and this also helps with chafing. This doesn't roll up or anything, and it's not like super tight either on the thighs. Shapewear has like a U plunge, and for the breast area, it is wired and lightly padded, which helps like to slightly push up your boobs without them spilling out. This also has adjustable straps, and they are detachable just in case you wanna wear something strapless and you choose to remove the straps. In the back area, there is also another adjustable, detachable strap, which will allow you to snatch your back area in more. So the crotch part of this shapewear is open, which allows for easy bathroom access. Well, it actually is a flap there, and it has three rows of eyelets that you can adjust based on your body type. This shapewear also has a butt lifting feature that does not compress your butt, but helps to shape it. So guys, I highly recommend this bodysuit shapewear. It, it's very stretchy, but it also offers a lot of compression at the same time. So basically what I'm saying is it's comfortable to wear all day without cutting off your circulation. I put my measurements down below in the description bar. So I'm wearing a large in this. So make sure you check the size charts or go based off of, you see my shape and my body type and I gave you my measurements and you can get an idea of what size that you need to get. But again, I do highly recommend this shapewear and I will be wearing it under all of the dresses that you're about to see. So for this first look, I'm wearing a real black maxi dress that is kind of giving skims. I love how soft the fabric is and how it's very stretchy, but conforms to the body. To elevate the look, I'm wearing a rhinestone ring 
that I got from Shein. This ring came in like a pack of 10 and it was different type of rhinestone shapes. The quality of the gold is not there or anything, it's kind of shiny, but you can barely see it. What sold me on these rings is that you receive multiple rings for a low price and it gave you a variety of different shapes for the rhinestone. So this is fashion jewelry guys, so it did what it was supposed to do. Then I went ahead and paired it with one of my gold JBW watches. I've shown this watch several times before, but as you know, I can't remember the name of it. But it is linked on my Shop My profile, so you can check that out if you're interested in purchasing. So of course, because it's Valentine's Day, I decided to pair this with my Amore Choker that I either got from, oh, I can't remember, that I either got from AliExpress or Zara. I'll try to find this somewhere online, but if I can't, I'll make sure I'll link something that is comparable so you can still achieve the look. The shoes I chose were my Soakate 120 millimeter pumps. While scrolling on Amazon, I saw this red peacoat trench looking jacket and I said, you know what, that'll pop. So granted, nine times out of 10, I won't get much use for that in Florida, but I still I still needed it. So you can wear this, if you if you don't wanna wear it actually as a jacket, you can wear it as a cape, which you see me doing, doing now, but it is warm enough to wear as an actual coat. And to elevate the look even more, I added some red frame cat eye sunnies that I got from Amazon. These came in a pack of three. It was a red pair, a white pair, and a black pair. And my handbag of choice is also from Amazon. It's a zebra print Bottega inspired pouch bag. So honey, when I tell you this look is kind of giving like gangster wife, mob wife, who's the boss, Griselda Blanco, all that, I'm in love with this look guys. For the next look, I'm wearing a red ruche deep V mini dress. I love the detail on the sleeve, how it has like the puffy shoulders as well as the split cuff. The back to get in and out of, but it was so stretchy that I didn't need to undo the zipper in order to get in. And in order to achieve the ruche look on the dress, the dress has a drawstring in the front that you have to, to pull. What I did when I pulled it, I put a single knot in it and then pulled the string up in the inside of the dress and tucked it into my shapewear. To elevate the look, I paired it with a chunky necklace that I actually got from Shein, but I do know that Amazon also has this necklace, so I'll make sure to link it below as well. I then added another one of the rhinestone rings that I got from Shein. It's in a different shape, and I put back on my JBW watch. And for the shoes, I decided to put on some knee-high boots from Nine West. These are just basic fitted knee-high boots. So I'll link a pair. I know Amazon probably has several. As you can see, I wasn't sure which bag to wear, but I have the choice of the zebra print bag from Amazon or this black bag with gold detail. I actually got that bag from Marshalls, but I'll link alternative options below. To elevate the look further, instead of doing sunglasses, I decided to do some clear frames. And these I believe I either got from eBay or AliExpress. But I love how the arms on the glasses are like the reverse of your typical pair of eyeglasses. This dress I highly recommend. It's great quality for the price and it helps to hide all of your imperfections. This next dress I actually purchased this from Amazon a while ago. So I decided to just throw it in because it was the red, you know, it's kind of giving Valentine look. So I went ahead and threw this in. I'm not even sure if it's still available or not, but I'll definitely find something that's similar if it's not available and link it below. This dress is one of those contrast body print dresses and it's a maxi dress, long sleeves. It's the typical, you know, kind of inexpensive polyester spandex material, but with that material, as far as fast fashion, it works. This definitely snatches the body. The front of the dress has more of a red background with the contrast body print, but the back of the dress is just plain black. With this dress, I wanted to wear silver jewelry, so I went ahead and added my silver cross necklace and my silver JBW watch, along with a silver rhinestone ring that I got from Amazon, and I love this ring. It's not it's not adjustable like the ones that I got from Shein, but it does have a very stretchy band so it can fit any finger. For the shoe, I wanted to keep it simple, so I chose my Luby Girl 
black barely there sandals. And to further elevate the look, I added some silver frame mirror sunglasses that I also purchased from Amazon. And for the handbag, I went with the simple crocodile print black clutch. The next dress is also a contrast body maxi dress. But the difference with this dress is that the print is in the front and in the back. I went ahead and paired this with my love choker, which I either got from AliExpress or Zara. I paired it with um, that same rhinestone silver ring from Amazon and my JBW watch. For the shoes, I chose a bubblegum pink sling back that I got from Public Desire. And to elevate with the sunnies, I was torn between those white cat eye. They were a part of the pack with the red ones that I showed for the first dress and the mirrored sunglasses that I wore in the last dress. I kind of think I'm more so feeling the mirrored sunglasses, but both are definitely a look. And the handbag I chose to pair with this look is an acrylic square handbag that I got from Amazon as well. This dress is also in that polyester spandex type material. And these type of dresses are very, very stretchy. They'll fit almost any type of body shape. But the only thing is, is that sometimes when they're stretched out too much, you kind of lose the detail of the color. So be careful with that, guys. Although you could probably fit in the size small, you may end up stretching the color out. I'm wearing a size medium in this dress. I absolutely love this dress. It's definitely keeping on trend with the contrast body. Okay, so this last piece is actually a two-piece set. So I say the two piece set for last. I had to take off my shapewear because the indentation in my thigh was showing through the material. The material is the polyester spandex and this one is kind of thin and it's actually kind of see-through. I had to put on my nipple covers, which I'll link them in the description. They're also from Amazon. And I put on my Spanx, not Spanx, Skims, Skims leggings. Man, those, I, don't, I don't know if anybody owns a pair of skim shapewear, but baby. Ooh, mercy, father is difficult trying to get those on. But once you get them on, baby, snatch. Hands down, snatch. So I have those on underneath the pants. Um, like I say, the material is not the best, but for the fast fashion pieces and the trend pieces, it's fine. This is kind of like a one and done. Not that you can't wear it multiple times, but come on, like certain outfits, like how, how many times are you gonna wear it? So you get what you pay for in this, but it did what it was supposed to do. The outfit looked amazing. Um, I love the pretty pink color. It comes in an array of colors. I actually wanted the fuchsia color, but the shipping on that would have been too long. It would have been past Valentine's Day once it came in. But anywho, so I went ahead and paired that with my rhinestone ring from Amazon, my silver JBW watch, my cross pendant necklace, and a tennis necklace. The shoes that I chose to wear with these are some Steve Madden Amina Mawadi dupes, the clear shoe. The only difference with the Steve Madden shoe is that it does not have like that Cinderella type of uh, martini glass looking heel at the bottom. But these are very, very comfortable. I got these maybe a little bit over a year ago on sale from Steve Madden. But I'll also link, Amazon sells a bunch of different um, type of these shoes. The ones with the Cinderella martini glass heel as well. So I'll link a few pairs of those. For the purse, I chose a Colt Gaia dupe, the clear bag with like the rhinestone detailing on it. And that is also from Amazon as well. And just like with the other outfit, for the sunnies, I was not sure if I wanted to do the white frame cat eye glasses or the silver metallic shades. But I think I'm, it's like I like the way the cat eyeglasses look on me. And I like the edginess that it gives the outfit. Overall, I really like the outfit. Like I say, it's not the best material. So make sure you wear your shapewear underneath this one. So guys, that's it for the video. Let me know down in the comment section which outfit was your fave. And if you plan on purchasing any of these looks. Also, let me know if you have any plans for a Galentine's Valentine's Day. Like I said, nine times out of ten, I will be here home. I took off work just in case one of my girlfriends or cousins wanted to go to dinner or anything, but they will be at work per usual. So I don't know if I'll be celebrating, but 
if I do, I definitely have an outfit. But with these pieces, like I say, most of them, all of the pieces came from Amazon. All of the outfits came from Amazon. But the different accessory shoes and purses I use to elevate, they came from different places. I tried to use as many Amazon items as possible. Even the items that did not come from Amazon, Amazon definitely has comparable items, which I'll link options below. Oh, and from the hair, this is even from Amazon, guys. It's the same hair that I had stalled for my birthday. I just switched the part and changed it to a middle part. So I also link the info on the bundles and the closure, as well as the same brand, the same seller of the bundles. They also sell ready to go wigs. In case you don't have time for an actual install or you just like wearing wigs, I'll go ahead and also link a ready to wear wig similar to this in the description as well. So guys, per usual, I thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Until next time, stay beautiful and stay blessed.